Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mike with Wu Audio. This week's episode of Frequently Asked Questions, we're going to talk about how can you tell if your amplifier has enough power to drive your headphones. In the last video, we talked about the gain output of your amplifier. Should you use the high gain or the low gain output? If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll put a link in the description so you can watch it after this video. We talked about the gain output can be misinterpreted as the power output because the amplifier can play louder in high gain mode, but it is usually at the expense of sound quality. So what is the best way to test your amplifier to see if it has enough power to drive your headphone? First, you want to play a piece of music that you are familiar with and set the volume to your normal listening level. For example, if your normal listening level for this music track is at 11 o'clock position on a volume dial, slowly turn the volume knob to 12 o'clock position and then carefully listen to see if the sound quality is impacted. Pay close attention to the low frequencies in the music because if the amplifier is out of power, the low frequencies is usually the first to suffer in sound quality. Now slowly turn the volume knob to 1 o'clock position and listen carefully to the sound quality of the music. As you increase the volume slowly to your highest comfort zone, listen to the music carefully at each step. Does the sound quality degrade or does the music become fatiguing? If the music starts to seem loud and is no longer enjoyable, this is the first sign of listening fatigue. Listening fatigue is caused by the distortion of the sound system causing the sound quality to degrade. A great sound system should be able to play very loud even at risk of hearing loss without any listening fatigue. A good example of this is a concert or a nightclub with a high-end sound system. Some shows can have a sound pressure level or SPL of 110 or 120 dB which can cause hearing loss but it won't seem loud when you're listening to the music in the venue because the sound system has no distortion that would cause listening fatigue. It may take you a few tries using this method to test your system's performance limits. Keep in mind to listen to the sound quality of the music at each step. It should be a lot of fun. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and tell your friends about us. If you have a question specific to your Wu Audio system, send us an email and we'll try our best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see everyone in our next video.